okay so this is the morgan's theorem so i'm going to show you how to answer the morgan's theorem now guys if you're answering the morgan's theorem you have to know these four rules now what are these four rules and i want you to pay particular attention to this so the first rule is that if if x is a member of a intersection b right if x is found in the intersection isn't it remember an intersection set an intersection set of something is what by that something is existing in both that and that isn't it sort of okay, this is our set and intersection is found here isn't it okay so it's found this is a and this is b and intersection is something that is found both in a and b right okay right so so this means x is found in a and x is found in b so please guys know this principle so if uh, x is a member of a intersection b it means x is found in a and x is found in b are we together provided there's a member of it means this member of it means if x is a member of the intersection it means it's part of a and it's part of b are we together here right the other rule is um the other rule is you can write this one down if x is a member of a union b right if x is part of their union the union right union set this is union it means this one means x is a member of it can be found in a or x can be found in b like we don't care where it's found it's part of the union it's like i'm adding everything up when i'm saying x can be in a or x can be in b because here if i say this here this is a and this is b there are things which are found here and are not found here no wonder we are saying o isn't it so x can be found in a or in b right okay so this is a member of family now what if we say if x is not a member of so we say if x is not a member of a intersection b right what does it mean so this means so if x is not found here right it, if x is not found in the middle here right that's what we mean so we mean x can can be here or x can be there right that's what we mean so this is going to be x can be a member of a right or x can be a member or cannot be a member of b rather so i saying x can never be a member of a or can never be a member of b so i'm saying if x is not found here so meaning it is here isn't it so now i'm saying if x is not found in a this is a and that is b so i'm saying if x is not found in a meaning it's in b right mm -hmm. or if x is not is or x is not found in b it means it's in a isn't it so if there's an intersection and not a member of you use an or sign if there's an intersection and not a member of use an or sign all right uh what of uh, the other one if x is not a member of a union b so if x is not part of their union if x is not part of their union right so meaning why is x x is in the universal isn't it if x is not part of their union so how can not something be part of their union so that's something if it shouldn't be part of their union meaning it shouldn't be in a and it shouldn't be in b isn't it then it will be here so here it is x is not a member of a and x is not a member of b isn't it so then it shouldn't be found in a and it shouldn't be found in b so that it can be found in the universal so if there's uh, if there's a union and not a member of use and all right so let me write them down uh so i'm trying to be fast but we have videos where we explain everything and we are as slow as possible as we can in the link below while you subscribe to our to our website zitfuse all right so the four rules are this x is a member of a intersection b meaning x is a member of a and x is a member of b isn't it if x is a member of a union b it means x is a member of a or uh, x is a member of b this is a member of family so you can write these ones down and then the other family is the union family isn't it so if x is a member of a union b it means x uh, if x is not a member of rather it means x is not a member of a uh, let me write it properly sorry the other family is not a member of family what are we saying if x is not a member of a intersection b it means x is not a member of a or 
x is not a member of b as i explained then if x is not a member of the union right it means x is not found in a and x is not found in b these are the four rules as i uh wrote um above anyways let's get to solving i just wanted to briefly explain this before i start solving but for more explanations while well, i'm slow as i can you can subscribe to our website all right so i have been saying x uh, we have been saying prove the de morgan's theorem where uh, b intersection c has to be equal to b complement uh, union rather we're saying uh, b intersection c now under the morgan's they have to be a complement here guys uh, 